Hello everyone. Um, this video is in line with my article HTML5 WebSocket in Essence posted on Code Project. In this short video, I'm going to demonstrate my team poker demo um, in details and uh, hope it will show some show the power of uh, HTML5 WebSocket. Okay, let's get started. Here um, on my Win7 and I ha have a uh, Ubuntu running WebSocket server based on Node.js and uh, by the way all the source code can be found at code project as well as uh, GitHub mentioned in my article. Okay, let's first uh, have the server started. And, okay, and here in my Google Chrome my local page is hosted on Microsoft IIS 7.5. Okay, here we see the login page, and uh, I log in as uh, William. Okay, let's first see the first section. I hard coded a dummy story called "User is able to click the login button and navigate to login page," and uh, the second is the current participant section. So we can see that Wayne has just logged in in this game. And uh, the bottom is all the pokers uh, which I'm going to vote. So at this time I vote. For example, I think this story is not hard to implement. I vote 40. Okay, then we see I have voted and I cannot view my view my value. I create another tab to simulate another participant to log into uh, this game. Okay, I log in as uh, Wendy. Oh, so we can see that Wendy logged in and Wendy got notified the current game status. So Wayne has already been in the room and Wayne has voted. And so on the other side, Wayne got notified that Wendy just logged in, and we uh, have Wendy vote for, for example, Wendy vote for 100. Okay, we can see here within the current votes, both Wayne and Wendy got notified. Here I'm, I'm going to repeat this um, operation. Opens another tab. I log in as, uh, for example, Shirley. Click login. And uh, here, for example, uh, Shirley thinks this story is hard to implement. He has uh, some open issues. She voted uh, a question mark. Okay. And uh, last one. Open, for example, uh, Scott. Um, Scott think he has already he he believed this story has been done so he voted zero. Okay, and uh, we might notice that except Wayne, uh, Wendy, uh, Shirley, and Scott cannot see the button at the bottom of the page uh, view vote without so. Uh, I want to emphasize that in this demo, I, I'm going to concentrate, um, demonstrate WebSocket power. So some functionality are uh, just a demo. So actually, um, Wayne is hard coded be the admin of, of this game. So let's click view vote result. Okay, then we see that all the uh, voted information are shown in the game result tab uh, in addition of the people who just voted the question mark and zero are highlighted so at this time in real world scrum master or agile program manager might ask Shirley so Shirley why do you think you you, you voted the question mark and uh, so Scott why did you vote uh, zero so Let's uh, stop the server at this time and uh, let's repeat the 
uh, the game and see what's happened underneath. Mm, I close this tab and uh, I'm going to refresh this page. So I do two extra things. Firstly, I open Chrome Developer Tools in Tools Developer Tools. Okay, I'm going to switch to Network tab. And uh, another thing I'm going to do is I open Wireshark, the professional um, package tracking tool. Okay. And since in my code I established WebSocket uh, in port 48, so I'm going to enter filter tcp dot port equals to four eight. Okay, and return to Chrome. I enter when. So I click login. Okay, we notice that in the network third, Chrome has tracked there is a traffic. Let's see what happened. So request header. Connection upgrade and uh, origin is localhost uh, and target is 1.5, which is the actually the Ubuntu server here. We can see that. Yeah, I yeah this is the server. Okay, and uh, we notice that there is two handshake keys I mentioned in my article. And there's the third party of keys and the server got a response that. Uh, Response with this code 101 indicates a protocol upgrade, a switching of protocol to WebSocket. Mm, and we, we go to uh, Wireshark. Okay, we see that the first three lines is actually a typical TCP three way handshake. And we, we have just passed some value. Let's see what's what value has been passed? We click follow TCP stream. Okay, we see that the red part is actually the client. The web page hosted on Microsoft IIS, and the blue part is actually the response came from the uh, Ubuntu Node.js server. This is the data I just sent from client to server. It's a JSON class type equals to new participant and the data is, is when a single DOM stream and the server got the response that okay there is a new participant and uh, I'm going to notify the current status okay we also notice that during the idle during my idle time um, a TCP keep alive packet keep on transfer between server and client to hold this TCP connection. So as I mentioned, WebSocket power is a client request to connect to server. And the server accept this handshake and, and send a successful signal to client. After the connection established, server and client can say, send the data independently and simultaneously. So this is so-called bidirectional full duplex. That's the essential of WebSocket. And it's actually building on a brand new um, on a brand new protocol called the WebSocket protocol, which is currently maintained by IETF Hybe team. Um, so yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, sorry about my poor Chinese English, uh, but I hope this video helps web developers not only know what is WebSocket, how to use it, but also understand WebSocket in depth. If you have any source or comments, please feel free to post it on my article on Code Project, or um, you can also contact me on my blog um, wenye.com um, thank you very much for watching